All right, I'll be honest. These are not my two favorite limiteds. They're just not, okay? But they are indeed limiteds. We always try to pull the limiteds. And we know we've got Gridiron Guardians, my heroes, reskin, whatever you want to call it, coming tomorrow. So let's try to pull these monsters. And just, I don't know, we'll, we're going to try. We probably won't. But I'm going to try because that's what we do. If you're looking to build the best team in Mad, make sure you head over to MMOEXP.com to avoid the packs and save some racks. Use code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description below. Fastest coins, cheapest coins. Use code CC. We'll see you guys on the sticks. 5% off. Be great. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are not back. We are just still here. We're just here processing. Uh, hopefully you guys watched the preview for Gridiron Guardians. By the time you see this, hopefully we see who the two good cards are. Um, hopefully they're good. A lot of speculation on the tweeter as them being, uh, I believe people were saying the Packers and Rams because it was like a green logo and a yellow logo. So Packers, Devontae Adams probably just based on the other overalls. Um, I guess... Um, Aaron Rodgers, maybe, uh, for the Rams. Obviously, Cooper Cup has been a monster. Uh, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey uh, are the other big cards it could be. And then maybe it's not those teams. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, I'll just wait and see. I'll be a patient person for the first time in my life. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's hit the like and let's check this out. So again, there's two cards. We're going to open the All-Pro Game Changer uh, packs here. Again, do I think this is a good thing to do? No, 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 I don't. But we spent a lot of coins this week getting Josh Allen and Justin Tucker. So uh, maybe we can get lucky here. Again, I don't think these are great cards. They're not super like, oh my God, you must have them. Again, probably be adding uh, one or two cards tomorrow. Got to imagine one or two of the good cards we'll probably be adding. So let's see. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, a game changer pack. Uh, George, George Fant. This is not good. This is not good. And this is not good. Okay, so game changer packs are pretty bad. They are pretty bad. Uh, a lot of these packs are pretty bad. We're all waiting for when the season comes and resets, and we don't know when that is. I thought it would be next week, and I'm probably wrong. So uh, we'll go with. We'll go with. I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, okay. That's like that's what a game changer pack is. Thanks. Yikes. All pro fantasies. I don't mind though. I don't mind these guys. Uh, I wish maybe they were ooh, or the elite in round one. Okay. Eight. Whoa. In round one. CMC's getting a card tomorrow. That's even better. 87 CMC. Let's go. Round one. That's crazy. What? What? It doesn't even make sense. All right. Well, go, give me another one. <laughs> what if we pulled three and one back? <laughs> That's two. That's crazy, though. Two McCaffrey's in one pack. Like, that's really, that's really weird. Has anyone done that this year? Like, it's really weird. Maybe it's a really good pull. Maybe he's, did he go up in price? Not really. Nobody cares, um, but still, per, that's pretty crazy, to be honest. Okay. All right. All right. I don't think I've ever had a pack like that before. Definitely not. Definitely not. Especially from, from a like an 87 out of a silver slot is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's one of my best like round one type pulls ever, honestly, from, from an overall perspective. Uh, maybe, maybe not a value perspective because we've probably pulled some sort of platinum card, but uh, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Uh, 86 Oakton Jenkins and 83. All right, all pro fantasies. I see you. I see you today. Interesting. That is an interesting day. Those game changes were trash. CMC to CMC. <laughs> I mean, he's getting his upgrade tomorrow, so I guess that that works out. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing there. Maybe if we pull someone else, we'll just assume that they're getting their upgrade tomorrow too. Maybe that's what he's doing right now. Okay. Again, like the the vast difference between how packs can be 
one pack is like, oh my god, amazing, and the other ones are like, meh, you know, meh, they're all right. Just weird. It's weird how how like just m m amazingly different. Uh, but no complaints for me today. Uh, that's pretty cool. Again, we're looking for limiteds. That would be really really cool to actually pull this animation. I don't think I've pulled this animation yet. Uh, when I pulled Waller, not on my account, there was no animation. So I've never actually seen the animation myself in person. So, uh, we got the MVP. Okay. Nope. Nope. This isn't it. And that's not it. But Michael Pierce recently got a heavyweight. We are pulling cards. We've been upgraded. Okay. All right. Two more, two more kind of successful. This is, is kind of a successful pack opening. Shockingly, um, we'll take, I don't even know who that is. Did he get a, he must've got another card. Zeke, who just got upgraded as well. Look, this is, this is the thing. All right. Who else? Come on. Marcus May. All right. All right. All right. All right. We got one more. This wasn't bad. This was not bad. Again, I'm not chasing these LTDs. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, let me go do some more, buy some. No, totally fine. Um, we, it's uh, something's got to be changing or coming soon. You just imagine that you think that, uh, we did not finish strong here, but are we going to finish strong here? Legend 85. 85 is all right. I'll take an 85 if that's what we get. Yep. Even though Grady Jarrett did get another card, we will take Brandon Marshall. So that was pretty successful. I've never had a pack like that before. That's really weird. Um, really, really odd. But again, these two limits a day, they're, 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 I mean, if you're on a theme team kick, yeah, you know what? Not bad cards, right? Um, Apparently they're really expensive though. 822 and 880. Again, if these cards are this expensive, it's simply because no one's pulling packs, right? Simply because that even Leal Collins last week, 450, right? Harold Landry, 660. So again, these limiteds always go up in price a little bit, especially we don't know at all, at all when we're going to be getting reduxes and that's part of that. I think that might be driving up the high prices too, that people are actually, you know, more willing to buy these cards. Uh, Shaq Barrett was limited from recently in team of the week, Justin Tucker at seven 30. I wouldn't be surprised if Justin Tucker's cards fly up because he's the only kicker <laughs> worth worth anything right now in the game. So seven 30. I think that card's gonna be worth more than 730 in a couple days. Um, but that's it. That was kind of a cool pack opening. Again, not trying to do anything more than what we just did. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Again, if you missed the Josh Allen debut gameplay yesterday, go watch that. The ending was absolutely crazy. You won't believe it. I promise. Be great. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.